Good morning and welcome to Morning Manna. Today is Wednesday, August the 7th, 2024, and this is episode 4,381. My name is Bruce Turner. Welcome to today's Morning Manna. Today's episode, Rise and Shine. Stay tuned. Rise and shine. There was a little chorus that I learned when I was a child. Rise and shine and give God the glory, glory. Rise and shine and give God the glory, glory. Rise and shine and give God the glory, glory, children of the Lord. <laughs> Well, it is 7.27 a.m., and I have already <laughs> arised and shined. Isaiah 60, verses 1 through 3 says this, Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, and deep darkness the people but the Lord will arise over you and his glory will be seen upon you. The Gentiles shall come to your light and kings to the brightness of your rising. If we have heard it once, we have heard it a thousand times, right? From our own mothers, rise and shine. Many mothers still use this phrase to get their kids out of bed in the morning, probably not even knowing that it's scriptural. It's an actually hidden idiom encouraging people to stand up straight rather than be bent over with difficulties. God was calling his people to stand up or get up from where they were struggling and move on. The Holy Spirit's presence in our heart must be allowed access to our face, our posture, and attitude every day. By calling believers to arise and shine, God is reminding us that we have the ability to shine in this dark world because of his indwelling spirit. In scripture, the Hebrew word for shine is often used to describe light. So when we read the Gentiles shall come to your light, we can't help but think of the Magi as they were quite literally drawn to Jesus by the light of the star of Bethlehem. And as we enter into the very last of the last days, We are seeing Gentiles from all over the earth coming to Jesus at an ever-increasing rate. So we must diligently heed the charge Jesus gave us. Matthew 5, 14 through 16, you are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hidden, nor do they light a lamp and put it under a basket but on a lampstand, and it gives light to all who are in the house. Let your light so shine before men, that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. Among the ancient Greeks, the runner who won The Olympic race was not the man who crossed the line in the shortest time, but the man who crossed it in the shortest time with his torch still burning. We must guard against becoming so busy with life's activities that we are in danger of allowing the torch of our spiritual life to be extinguished. So, arise, shine, for your light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. 
For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, and deep darkness the people. But the Lord will arise over you, and his glory will be seen upon you. The Gentiles shall come to your light, and kings to the brightness of your rising. So, Father, today, help us to rise and shine for you. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, have a great Wednesday. Till tomorrow morning, this is Bruce reminding you to choose joy.